So, hello guys. Um, yeah, welcome back to another video. And um, let me just say that again, as always, I'm sorry that I haven't been posting a lot um, of videos lately. I have been busy with um, other things. Um, and uh, yeah, um, and in this video, uh, I'll be showcasing you my project that I started, but never actually finished well because i kind of can't finish this it's it's a bit too hard for me so um so let me explain what i'm doing so um uh i wanted to make a lego technic car um out of a uh video game car so i had this game that i play it's called rocket league and there's like a bunch of different cars in it and there's this one that I always use, and it's called Dominus. And I, I wanted to recreate it in Lego Technic. Um, if you if you've seen my previous videos, you know that I have already done this once, and it was quite a good car. Like it was it was okay, but compared to this, it was bad. Okay, let me just say this: this is like at least the body of it, or like the, the mechanics of it, are like so much better. So, um, uh, it, it is indeed fully remote controlled. Oh, actually, before I start that, let me, uh, you're probably wondering why, uh, I won't be able to finish this. And that is because I'm really, really bad at modeling a model. Well, yeah, I think that's how that's called. So like, I wouldn't be able to build around this. Like I wouldn't be able to make the shape of it. I'm just like not good enough for it. But anyways, anyways, um, uh, yeah, let's uh, get on to what it actually does. So, first of all, um, it is remote controlled. Um, it has two speeds that are also remote controlled. And, um, well, forward, backwards, left, right, the, the whole thing. So, um, let me actually show it on the car. So that that's the remote control features so and then the overall just like okay so you can see the engine the fake engines i actually honestly think this looks legitimately cool like bro like oh my god like i found these engines uh on uh bricklink and i was like holy cow this looks like freaking awesome i'm totally using this and <laughs> i mean it does look really really cool these engines are like legitimately cool if I, if I if i'll find the link to them i'll actually leave it down in the description so if it'll be there um i'm sure you would like to check them out there's free instructions um uh the seats i actually designed these myself um if you can see here they're literally a small version of the Bugatti seats and i really really like them um, I had a couple different designs, but these ones actually fit into the size of this car because this is like the top. It's like super flat, as you can see. And these actually fit into the top, so I used them. As you can see, I have the IR receivers right behind them. Um, the battery is right there. That's the battery. And you might think, well, this is super hard to access, but no, I made this switch that you can just move and it turns everything on or off, depending on when I want it. You can see I have uh, the, the servo motor here for steering and the two um, large motors for drive, which go into, if I can show you probably from this side, you can see right about, okay, you can't see, but there's that red gear and that's actually a, um, a transmission gear and there's the transmission over there. It's just really dark like. Yeah, okay, whatever. You get the point. The transmission is literally under the seats, like in this area. And it is remote controlled, controlled by this motor, which connects to this gear, which connects to that gear, which then, well, remote controls it. And I'll show you how the whole, it, it's here. And then it also goes all the way to the other side because there's two motors. And they actually both go individually through their own transmission shifter. And then they get put together and they get put onto a uh, central differential right here, you can see, which then gets output into the, uh, into the, uh, 
the rear and the front axle, also the fake motors. Um, so uh, the uh, the the suspension you might have noticed it's quite nice suspension. Oh, and this is a four x four by the way. I forgot to mention. You can see I I actually really love how this suspension turned out. It really is quite um, quite nice and uh, and responsive. Um, and it is the best suspension of this kind that I have made. It was quite difficult to make, and it, especially the rear one, it's actually quite big. Because you see, like, this whole thing is, like, the suspension, and, like, that that's a lot. Like, you know, but, like, nah, it, it's still the best of its kind that I have made. Um, I actually like how the wires turned out on this. Okay, sorry, I'm kind of skipping, uh literally everything and just talking about random stuff but okay um <laughs> what can i do about that that's just who i am right anyways um i like how the wires how i put them everything is like you can see all the wires they're literally not seen they're like hidden somewhere they're like out of sight like you you won't be able to see them basically they're like a part of the car you know what i mean um, the front suspension here, okay, back to the suspension now, wow, genius, okay, anyways, um, it has, the middle ones are not actually connected on this side, so if I do, I can just pull them out of here, and you can see, and the other one, I can do that with the other one too, let me just, there we go, so you can see, there they are, but if I put them in, they won't actually be able to fall out, even if I turn the car upside down. As you can see, they actually hold in place. Um, so, uh, yeah, let me, let me, oh, 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 by the way, by the way, about the switch, this actually works really simple. It just moves this. Okay, I don't know if you can actually see, but it just moves a little lever that then turns on the car. Um, also, you can see I use Bugatti wheels. I, feel, I felt like those actually fit better um, than anything. So, uh, oh, right. I forgot it's on neutral speed. Anyways, now about that, let's just switch speeds. There you go. As you can see, it just switched speeds. Now, I think this is a high speed. Stop, 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 stop. No, stop. What is wrong with this? Like, seriously. Okay, I need the lower speed probably. Yeah, okay, let me just switch to a lower speed. And you can see it just switched to a... Did it? Um, hello? Um. Uh. Ah. Uh, um. Ah, uh, excuse me. What 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 have you what have I done? What is wrong? I don't seem to understand. Why has this happened? Literally nothing is working. Okay, let me try restarting the battery. Um Oh, 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 the signal on the uh Wow, that that's that's really weird. The signal on the remote is literally dead. Alright then. Let me try just making it, putting it into a different mode. Anyways, now that it's working. So this is the steering. It's quite nice steering. It fits really well. Um, works really good too. Like for steering, it actually works quite damn well. Um, uh, here is the drive. As you can see, and the fake motor is working perfectly. Um, and this is the slow speed. And if I just go backwards here, I can then switch speeds. There we go, I just switched speeds fully remotely. And then this will be the high speed. So,
as you can see it actually goes quite fast at least I think so and I I just I just like this creation like and it, everything looked cool but uh, sadly I'll never actually be able to finish this um, I really really want to um, but oh right I forgot to put neutral gear uh, where's the switch uh, um, so how does all of this actually works and let me also talk about some problems that I ran into while I was actually building this thing um, so uh, yeah um, uh, okay uh, mm, uh, okay uh, mm, let's start with the part um, about how does this actually work and it's I think I explained this already, didn't I? Anyways, um, it's quite simple. Uh, I'll start with the uh, just a general. Uh, so the let's just start with like the front suspension and the um, the, the steering mechanism. So you see the the uh, um, the server here, and there is a uh, how am I gonna show this? There is a okay. I can't actually show this. Anyways, um, there's a rack and uh, there's a rack and pinion setup about right there. Um, yeah, you can't see it, but anyways, it's right there. That is connected to the servo because the axle of the servo goes all the way through to the front, where the uh, the rack and pinion setup is is set up, and it works really quite nicely. Um, in my opinion, like. I don't think this could get better than this. It's, well, of course, a 4x4. It's a, quite a normal suspension, except the fact that, here, let me take out, like, one wheel, just to show you. So you can see it's quite a normal suspension, except the fact that I actually, I connected it from this side. You see there's, okay, you can't see, it's literally black, but anyways, there's this part here that connects, and basically this whole side is flat, but this side, you can see how it just randomly drops because it needs space for the rack and pinion setup otherwise it would have been really close to impossible or just super hard and I won't be able to do it set up so I just did that yeah um the back is simple there's really nothing about the back suspension that's interesting um the uh the uh, the transmission now um, transmission was quite okay why did I leave this running anyways the transmission was really interesting to build I can't actually show it to you guys because well the seats are in the way but basically how this works or can I yeah I don't think I can this this will be really hard I'll have to debuild a lot anyways so basically the two motors they go into um, the transmission speed switching ring thingy and one of those is a blue gear and the other is red gear and the blue gear is actually bigger than the red gear therefore it ha it actually makes the speed a bit faster than the red gear and then they go on to uh, f um, 1 to 3 or sorry 3 to 1 ratio so they get slowed down by 3 times and then they go on to the uh, the uh, middle differential here, which is right there, you can see. So basically it's either a three to one, so the motors do three rotations, the wheel do one rotation, or it's, I don't even know how much is that. Yeah, I don't know anyways. Or it's just faster by like 1.25% basically, or 125%, sorry. Um, the transmission switching is actually pretty interesting as you can see here this is connected like somehow the lever set up and let me just actually show this how it works in action so you can see how yeah yeah I think you get the idea of how this works and the axle this axle right here actually goes all the way to the other side and the other side has almost the exact same setup and as you can see it works quite fine 
where there's a bit of backlash between this side, the one the side of the motor is on, and this side because the axle is actually quite long. But ah, it's fine. It works fine, so it's fine. Um, some difficulties that I ran into is that the rear axle is really huge. Um, I had a lot of troubles putting together this part. As you can see, there's a really huge amount of these yellow pieces and it all really interconnects really complicated because I want it to hold very nicely and this is like seriously a heavy duty suspension like yeah it'll be really really hard to break this apart okay I can't put the loop back on there we go um, same with the front suspension it's made basically as much heavy duty as possible um, the fake engine is based on gravity, so it's nothing, nothing too special. It's just a normal, uh, normal um, da -da -da, fake engine. Um, um, what else? I really like how it turned out to be the underside turned out to be like so flat, and there's literally nothing showing. It really reminds me of the Bugatti because the Bugatti also didn't have much showing. If you get what I mean like it had like a second layer to it or something um so I really like that how I made that accidental by the way I didn't actually mean to for that to happen um the uh, remote is super simple as well it's literally forward backwards this is right and left and this is for switching speeds higher speed lower sp higher speed lower speed okay um so yeah, um, and I won't, won't actually be able to finish this because I actually already said this, but I'll just say it again because I'm just not good enough at actually modeling the car to make it look as good as I want it to, which is really, it, it really sucks. It's, it really sucks. It really, really does. And I, I don't like it, but I can't really do much, so... Um, so I'm leaving it at this, sadly, can't, can't do much about it. And I'm gonna debuild it and build something else. It's been laying around for quite some time and I need the electronics for more projects because I'm getting kind of bored. So yeah, um, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed. Um, as I said before, I might leave the instructions for the fake engines on the description below if I actually find the link to them. Um, otherwise, yeah, um, uh, have a great rest of your whatever day, night, uh, maybe good night, maybe have a rest good day, and I'll see you guys in the next video.